Hello, I'm Jan van Laar and the editor of Rheumatology. I would like to give you a few tips on how to get your paper published in Rheumatology. So first and foremost, make sure that your study topic fits into the scope of the journal. We receive quite a high number of papers and those that do not fit into the scope will not be accepted. Second, always read the author instructions and ensure that your paper complies with the format and style for the type of article you wish to submit. Although this may not guarantee publication, it will ensure that there are no unnecessary delays to your paper or making changes post-submission which can be time-consuming. Third, do ensure that your abstract is well structured and tightly written along with a good title. Fourth, if you are submitting a sub-analysis, the aims of the study must be well justified to justify why or how this analysis adds to the value of the paper. Fifth, the methods section must be clearly written, defining the type of study, inclusion criteria, patient consent form and ethics, along with the type of statistical method used, and perhaps explain why it was used. Sixth, in the results section, think of the presentation of the data and do not repeat any of the data in the tables and text. Moreover, do not get into any discussions here. Save that for the next section. All too often, we find authors mix the two sections up. Moreover, you should not repeat any of the data from the table. If it is given in the table, refer to the data. Seventh, the discussion is the main body of your article to explain what makes your study unique or different from those done previously, any limitations your study had, and what is the main conclusion that you draw. Try and make that your last sentence and be clear without overstating any claims. Eight, all research articles in rheumatology have key messages and ensure that you write the best ones to highlight the importance of your study. Ninth, ensure that your authorship list complies with the ICMGE list and declare all your funding and disclosures. It is best to err on the side of full disclosure. Last but not least, write your paper clearly, concisely and in a simple language keeping in mind the, a wide international audience. Academic papers are complex subjects without the need for the use of complex sentences. Think of the reader. Good luck.